hi in our last session we had discussed that how to watch us how to watch a scope variable so in this session we will discuss how can we apply these watches on some service variables or or we can also call it as a how can we watch how can we watch some variables through the functions so let's take an example uh, so let's take a simple example so to watch two functions we, we will write our watch function and in our last example we have seen that to watch a scope variable we were we were writing the variable name here and the second argument will be a function which takes which takes our new value and and the old value so in this function we were we were doing the functionality which we want to apply which we want to apply when when this variable changes its value so as the as when we load application when we load our application for the first time this watch will run so to avoid this we will just compare if our new value is not equal to old value then only we, we were writing our functionality so now let's consider we have one service okay. so now we can also watch through some functions okay. so before that so let's take a simple service of a generate number so this service has a functionality of a get number which which generates which generates which generates some random number and also this service has one variable called as reload so so now we want to so now we want to we want to watch this variable we want to watch our service variable so let's inject this let's inject this service into our controller so let's initially take some scope variable of some display number so so initially we are getting some random number and we are assigning that to our variable of display number and in our html in our html we are displaying we are we are displaying this number and also in our html we had taken one button which calls a function of reload number so this so so this function so this function just changes a scope variable this function just change changes a scope variable so we we so we are we want to change a scope variable we want to change a service variable of our get number service to to some other value so now let's okay, let's try to watch our service variable so just to make sure there is a whether this watch is working or not we had taken one alert and when this variable changes we are again changing our we are again changing our display number so now so now let's run this so initially we are initially we are getting a value 
when we click a reload number, we are changing a variable inside our service and we are trying to apply watch on that variable. So we are trying to watch our service variable. But even though we have written watch, so so this so this watch is not working. So when we take the when we take the watch function, this this watch function will only work for our for our scope variables, but not for our service variable. To so to make it work for our service variable, we need to watch it through function. So now here we need to watch it through the function. So what the advantage of watching a function is when we when we watch a function when we watch a function our angular will watch a variable whichever that function returns. So now we are trying to watch our service variable because when we click that button we are changing our service variable and we are and we want to watch and we want to watch any changes on this service variable. So now, so now to achieve these kind of scenarios, we will watch these service variables through a function. As we cannot watch it directly, we will watch through a function. So when we watch through a function, our our Angular will watch the variable whichever this function returns. So now let's return our reload variable in our service. So now what this statement means is we are tell telling our Angular to watch a service variable. So we are intimating our Angular to watch a service variable. As, as directly we cannot watch the service variable, as di directly we cannot watch the service variable, so, so now we are intimating our Angular to watch a variable through this function. Now, now whichever variable this function returns, this variable is added to our watch list. So, so now let's, so now let's save this. So let's run our application now. So now when we click the reload button, we can see that our our watch function is being called, and it is generating it and it is generating a new number. So whenever we click, whenever we change the variable in our service, this watch function is being called. So, so previously this, previously we were not able to watch a service variable. So to watch a service variable, we can only watch through a function. So when we watch a function, whatever whatever variable this function returns, it it will be added to our it will be added to our watch list. And whenever this and whenever this variable changes, whenever this whenever this variable changes, this functionality will be executed. So this is the use of watching a this is the use of watching a function. So we will watch a function to watch some external variables outside of scope, like some service variable. Yeah. Hope you like this video.